Hi, I'm Lucy Alexander, and I'm here with Søren Abelhoy from the Technical University of Denmark. So, Søren, today you gave a talk about uh, converting CO2 using solid oxide electrolyzer cells and the role of this in CCUS. Can you talk a little bit more about your research? Yeah, okay, so the, so the project that I'm in is, is about uh, uh, using CO2 captured from the atmosphere, turning that into uh, fuels so that when you burn the fuels, you emit the same amount of CO2 that you took in from the beginning. That's a way of making sustainable or uh, at least carbon neutral fuels for aviation or transportation. Okay. And can you, can you explain the technology of solid oxide electrolyzer cells in, in more detail? Yeah, okay, so, so electrolyzer cells are electrochemical devices. They're similar to batteries in some respects. Um, what they do is that, or th in this case at least, they take in CO2 and water, and using some electricity, they turn that into um, a mixture of uh, carbon monoxide and hydrogen, which is known as synthesis gas. And that synthesis gas can then be turned further into uh, fuel using commercially available technologies. Okay. And you said the carbon dioxide that is used has to be captured from air. What is the advantage of this um, versus using carbon captured from, say, flue gas? Yeah, so you're right. In principle, you could take the, the CO2 from whatever source you have at hand. The, the um, advantage of taking it from, from the atmosphere is that, that when you take that out and then further down the line burn the fuel that you produced, you emit the same amount of CO2 to the atmosphere again that you just took in. So that's a way of making it, the whole process CO2 neutral, provided that the power that you use, the electricity, is from a wind turbine or um, a solar cell. If you take it from the flue gas, something has been burned um, in order to produce this CO2 in the first place, and that would be coal or natural gas, for example. If you do that, um, you only sort of use the CO2 twice, so you only cut the emis emissions, so to say, from from your energy production in half instead of removing it. Um, so it's a, this is a question of carbon sort of management or figuring out where the CO2 came from in the first place. Okay, well thank you very much, sir. You're welcome.